Never Stop Learning week 338. We're going to take a quick look at text on the path using a circle in Adobe Illustrator CC 2018. All right, so the first thing I need to do is create a circle. So I'm going to hit the L key. All right, and that's going to activate the ellipse tool. Just click and drag. Now to create a perfect circle, hold down the shift key. All right, I want to draw from the center of my shape. So I'm going to introduce the alt or option key. All right, and to reposition this, I'll just hold down the space bar. And once I get this set up exactly how I want, I'll go ahead and release the click. All right, so that gives me this circle here. And I'm going to use this for my text. All right, next, I'm going to hit the T key to activate the type tool over here at the top at the 12 o'clock position. Now, before you click, take a look at the cursor. Notice there's a little circle around my cursor there. And that's letting me know that I'm about to apply some area text. So if I click there once, it fills this area in with a lot of text. And that's not what I want. I'm going to undo that. Command Z. What I want to do is type along the path. So I'm going to hold down the Alt or Option key. Notice the cursor changes. That little wavy line lets me know that I could type on this path. All right, so I'm going to click there once. And it's important that you click at the 12 o'clock position. That's just going to help you out with the alignment as we go along with the rest of the steps. All right, so I'm going to turn on the caps lock. And I'm going to type in some text here. You can follow along with me or put in your own text. All right, so I'm going to go with Venice Dynamics. All right, Command Return to accept that change. Now I want to increase the size of this text, so I'm going to hit Command Shift Greater Than. All right, and I want to center justify this text, so I'm going to hit Command Shift C. All right, notice it throws the text down at the bottom and it's upside down. Well, a quick way to turn this around is just hit the V key to activate the selection tool. All right, notice we have this bounding box here. I'm going to go to one of the corners, then click and drag. Hold down Shift and release. All right, if you don't see your bounding box, go into the view menu at the top, scroll through, and click right here where it says Show Bounding Box. And you also have a keyboard shortcut of Command Shift B. That's going to do both. It'll either show or hide the bounding box for you. All right, so the text is looking pretty good. Let me just uh, increase the size and let's change the font. So I'm going to come over here to the properties panel and I'm going to go with uh, chunk five Roman. You can pick whichever one you want. I'm just going out with something that's uh, nice and thick. All right, now I want to create the text that goes along the bottom of the circle. All right, so instead of uh, creating a whole new shape, I'm just going to hit Command C to copy the text we already have here. All right, Command F is going to paste it right in front. All right, so you can't see it because they're right up on top of each other. What I'm going to do is just triple click here. One, two, three. I've got all my text selected and now I'm going to bring in some more text. So caps lock on. All right, I'm going to do asterisk, muscle, beach, asterisk. Command enter to accept that change. And now let's spin it around the other direction. Hold down shift. And this looks pretty good. All right, so when I deselect, I notice that, well, the text on the bottom is now upside down and I'd like to actually flip it around so I could read it. All right, so I'm gonna click once to target this text. Now I'm gonna come over here to the top in the type menu. Scroll through, find type on a path and then choose type on a path options. All right, once I get those options open, the first thing I wanna do is turn on preview. That way, whenever I'm making some changes, I could see it happen in real time. All right, over here, I wanna flip the text. All right, and that looks good, but notice when I flip the text, it brings it inside of the circle. So I'm gonna change this function over here. It says align to path. Instead of baseline, I'm gonna go into the drop down menu, I'm going to choose Ascender. All right, so now we're going to align to path Ascender. All right, click OK. And this looks pretty good, except for that the text is kind of hovering away from that shape. All right, so I'm going to hit Command T. That's going to bring up the character panel. All right, down over here towards the bottom, we could set the baseline shift. Now, for some reason, you don't see this. Come over here where it says character. See just to the left of it. You have these uh, double-headed arrows. 
Well, click on that and it will either collapse or expand the panel for you. All right, so we want to come over here to the baseline. I'm going to hit the up arrow key a couple times and I'm taking a look at the text and it looks like 11 is going to work out good for me. I'll hit enter and this looks good. All right, so I'll select both of these circles. So by selecting both of those circles, I'm grabbing all the text. Command shift greater than. Let's kind of fill that in. And I noticed that uh, the asterisks probably aren't in the best place anymore. So let me just come in here with my type tool activated, click and drag, and let's bring this guy back down to zero. All right. I'll do the same for the one over here on the right side. Instead of 11 points, let's go with zero. All right, command enter. That gets us out of this uh, text edit mode. Command T will dismiss that panel. All right, so the text looks great. So we're pretty much done with that part. Uh, the next thing I want to do is create a compound shape so we can create some sort of donut for this text to sit on. Let me show you what I mean. All right, so I'm going to select all of my text. I'll hit the comma key. And for the fill, let's go with white. All right, so we can't see anything because the artboard is white, but the text is there. All right, I'm going to hit the L key. Click and drag, shift, and alt again. All right, I'll release. Now the circle is white, so let's fill this in with black. All right, and I could get rid of this panel for now. All right, so the circle is currently in front of all the text. So with it selected, I'm gonna hit Command, Shift, Left Bracket, and that's gonna send it down to the back, all the way to the bottom of the stack. All right, so I'm gonna select everything on my artboard. Over here on the Properties panel on the right, I'm gonna do a horizontal align center and a vertical align center. All right, this looks okay. Let me see, what I wanna do is knock out a hole right here in the center. So I'm gonna select the uh, black circle, Command C to copy, Command F for paste in front. I'll grab this corner, click and drag, hold down Shift and Alt or Option, depending on what it says on your keyboard. All right, I'll release. All right, currently I have the smaller circle selected. I'm gonna hold down the Shift key, come over here, click. Now I have both of the circles selected. All right, with both of these selected, I'm gonna hit Command-8. And that's gonna turn that into a compound shape, which is kind of like this donut shape here. All right, so this looks pretty good, but let's say you need to edit this. All right, I'm gonna hit the A key to activate the direct selection tool. Click once right here in the circle, and then switch over to the selection tool by hitting the V key. All right, that gives me access to the bounding box. I'll make a quick adjustment. Maybe, not. there we go, something like that. And deselect, and that looks good. So there you have it folks, that's a quick look at text on a path using a circle in Adobe Illustrator CC 2018.